Hello everybody. Today I want to get something clear, and it's about the animator fix win um, uh, app, and we're gonna do uh, the iTunes two. So we got two versions. Uh, we got the iTunes and the Winamp, and we both gonna install the animator fix um, color system on it. So your um, keyboard will be lighting how the music goes. If you understand what I mean, otherwise you won't watch this video, I hope so. I'm doing this on the Alienware R3 uh, Special Edition, but I just got the software of Alienware R3 and R4. I mean, I'm playing on the R4. Uh, 13 inch until 18 inch, I think all, all will, will do. So what you basically need to do first, because if you watch this, those videos, I watch them, I watch like a hell of them, I think maybe like 50. No, not 50, 30, 30. I did a, a hell of a research and I finally got to the solution why it isn't working. So the I thought like if this plugin was made um, on the Alienware, you got a plugin uh, standing already on your computer, you just need to copy and paste it in the programs. It, it has been made earlier. Maybe there is becoming an update from iTunes, so the plugin won't work on that version of iTunes. So I went looking after on the date what it was released. So I got like er, um, got like older versions of iTunes and Winamp installed in in duo to the game uh, to the FX visualizer working because the visualizer won't work on newer versions because it isn't um, capable of communicating with that version. So what you need to do is get an older version of iTunes. You can find it on the Apple support. It's 10.7. I'm, I'm uh, on a Windows 10 um, for um, 46 bits. Uh, it should be working for Windows 8, I think. I'm not sure. Just try it. You see, this has been released on 12 September 2012. It's not the latest version, but you need the latest. Uh, you need this version uh, in in case of you want to work your Alienware fix. And um, the Winamp, yeah, it's not from the normal Winamp side because they got it updated. Uh, so I got it from this side. Both links will be in the description below. So we're first going to do the uh, iTunes version and then we're going to do the Win Winamp version. So the iTunes version, if you install this correctly, you normally got a blue icon. If you don't, well, you don't got the right version. So if you open this and you go to, it will open. Thank you. I, I, I have it installed and then you see this picture, but how this option, but how do you got it? Do you get it? You go first, you need to get the file in order of put it in iTunes. So what you're going to do is you're going to open your computer. You can do it. Uh, oh my God, I normally don't do it. this. Well, oh my God, search, I think. No, File Explorer. Yeah, it's just fine. Okay, File Explorer. Uh, then you go to uh, your main drive. So where Windows has been installed. Then you go to Program Files, Alienware. Then you go to Command Center. And then you see this media plugin. You got a plugin for iTunes. And you got a plugin for Winamp. Okay, this shouldn't be in here. You just need uh, the Winamp plugin. I think it's this one. We have plugin. You just need one. Uh, I copied them all because I, I screwed up. So the iTunes version is this one. You just copy it, copy, and then you're gonna go. If you have installed iTunes correctly, you're gonna press on percent app data. Percent. Then you got this one. Go in here. Then go to Apple Computer. iTunes. iTunes plugins. And you just copy and paste it in here. Okay, if you copy and paste it, you should be working. I know a lot of videos, I've seen a lot of videos and they, they, they weren't working. So maybe it's, my, my, my mind is one of them too, but it's it's worth trying at least if you're really motivated. Uh, for me, it worked, just that one file. Um, so then then you got a visualizer. What, in case, if you, you, you need to do something to get the visualizer working. And um, yeah, that's selecting the visualizer, but not just by selecting it, your uh, keyboard will color it. But if you just so you you highlighted this one, you can also go to options. Then you got this one. It's not working with this. 
I don't know why, but if I change it, press on OK, and then just go back. If you see it's standing on top again, but that's not a huge problem. I mean, it's still got special effects. And then you press on this one. And if you're on the screen, your, your keyboard should be colored right now. So if this works for you, enjoy, enjoy, and we're just gonna do the Winamp version right now. So if you install the Winamp from this side, I just press here. I didn't got viruses. I didn't notice. I, ch I checked it. Everything looked normal. Um, so I don't know why I will find it and kill it. That's why I have a, win a Windows PC for right. Okay, so if you install it co correctly, uh, co correctly, correctly, this is going to this again. This is media and Winamp. You should. I think it's this one. I'm not sure. I, I, yeah, I think it's this one. Just copy and paste it. Okay, what I did, uh, I maybe did a little bit too much copy and pasting, but it worked, so it actually doesn't matter. If you've got the file everywhere, it should be... There's one installed correctly, you know what I mean? I mean, if you got like photos everywhere and it's just in the right folder, it will work. It's not, it, it doesn't mind that the folder is, uh, the, the, the file is being copied to another location if it's still in the file where it needs to be, where it belongs to be, if you know what I mean. So I just copied it, um, plugins, you see it here. You I copied it in, I made a folder anywhere fix. I copied it in here too, I don't know. I made, I installed all the files, it's working, I mean, you don't need to worry about copying too much files in a plugin. It's it's not needed. On GTA, it's online online games and games. It's it's very different by copying files into it because your program will be corrupt and your license will be suspended. So yeah, it's it's a whole other world. So then you just if you copy that and paste it, I think it's you no, know, it's the other one. I did this too, just in to get it working. Plugins. I just paste it in here. Is this one WAMP Unirefix plugin DLL? And then I made a folder FX and paste it in here. I mean, you pay, I, I paste it in like five different locations or four, four different locations, and it's working with me. So now you have done that. This is gonna open Winamp. Oh yeah, make sure you got this version. I think it's a classic one. I'm not sure, but if you select another version, it won't work. The oldest version, the better. So, yeah, you, you, you need to make sure if, if you download it, make sure you got this version. Forgot to say that. It's the, the blue skin or something. I don't know. Screw that. Okay. Oh, how do you do this? You got here view. Oh no, options, options. Then you go to visualizer, select plugin, and wow, it's standing right here. Uh, then you do start configure. Just wait a moment. Coming up right here. You can select the, the main color or what do you like. And then you just press close. If you play music. You were the shadow you to my game. light. Did you feel you just go to visualizer. Another star. You and fade you just, away. Afraid I aim yourself. That's been fixed too, guys. I'm glad to help if this helps you. If, if this helps you, me, just please drop something in, in the comments and drop a like. Um, yeah, I, I hope I helped you out. Uh, see you maybe in the next video. Ciao.